I just wanted to update you guys on our prototype. We've been working really, really hard on this trencher that does a trench the size that we dig. That's never been something that's been available to contractors. So Ditch Witch and I have been working really hard on some sort of a combination of things that will work. I actually started with this in the winter time on Lake St. Clair. It's been painstaking, it's been aggravating, and this thing is mean. It takes a, a real powerful ditch witch to run it. You're not gonna run it with a small ditch witch. You're gonna have to buy a bigger machine, you know, a 1550 or, or their SK3000, which I'm looking forward to showing you in another video. But there's a really nice trench, but it does need to be cleaned out. It does make a hell of a mess. And it broke and sheared off the pins for the second time on a 1550. So I'm gonna keep you guys in the loop on this. And you know me, I'm going to be brutally honest. If it's great, I'm going to let you know that, you know, we're going to be trenching all our jobs from here on out if it's if it's great. But again, you know, we have to see, we have to put it up against what we do, the way we do it, and then get this thing to where it's running, you know, flawlessly without any issues. And we can have it connected to a ditch witch to where it's actually you know mounted in a way to where it can really withstand all this torque you know and the leverage that these trenchers put on the attachment now here's the problem ditch witch is my preferred weapon of choice and these guys you know they take care of me no doubt about it uh definitely a great piece of equipment and I highly endorse it, especially with their 0% financing. You would be a crazy person if you are in business and you're not going to take advantage of their free money and grab up one of these ditch witches. Having said that, will I use it for trenching? I don't know. Now, as the ditch witch machines have gotten stronger and stronger and bigger and more powerful, the engineers have failed to increase the size of, of what's now a dated attachment, which is kind of a joke too. It's It belittles the machine because I love the machine. I love the machine so much, but boy, do I hate the way their attachments are. As the machines are getting stronger and more powerful, it's a failed it's a failed design. It was good when they were weak and, and, and years ago when it was just you know a two sprocket. All right, everybody, until that next video.